that is going to do it. So the Denver Nuggets pick up an important road win. They're going to beat the Hornets for the fifth straight time, and they clinch home court advantage in round one. Well, last three years, we're the only team in the Western Conference to have home court advantage every season. All right, so you guys deserve a ton of credit. It's been a long year. It's been a hard year in a lot of different ways. We've got three games to go. Let's keep on moving in the right direction. All right, way to come back and get this win tonight, man. Hey, family on three. One, two, three. Family. Congratulations. The Nuggets have three games remaining in the regular season, all on the road. They are fourth in the West, a game back of the Clippers for the three seed. Berto, on our monitor, we're watching uh, P.J. Dozier, Monte Morris, and Will Barton all warming up. Nice. So they're they're starting to turn the corner. With all the injuries, don't you guys feel we're playing with house money right now? For yes. sure. Going the for sure. The and, it's, and especially if you can get through that first round, that's a tip of the hat, mm -hmm. and then you just kind of see what happens. The Nuggets clinched home court advantage in the first round of the playoffs when they defeated the Hornets in Charlotte on Tuesday. 117 to 112, Denver. Tonight, the Nuggets make their way to the frozen wasteland of Minnesota for a showdown with the Timberwolves. Oh my guy. Good. And they say he had the Vando fever tonight. <laughs> I told him they say he, he had the Vando fever tonight, man. It's all good, man. They gotta keep me safe, say tackling people. <laughs> Go for Good job. <laughs> uh, together on three. Let's go. One, two, three. Let's go. 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 Neither Marcus nor Vladko forced anything tonight, which a lot of guys when they're, so I, I just really respected and appreciated those guys playing within the team framework and, and having great nights. Those guys have worked their butts off the entire year. And now Jokic. Jokic 28 points tonight, and the basket is good and a foul. Howard has a career high of 15. Vladko Chanchar, a new career high of 14. Jokic is back in. And Howard with the dive. Beautifully done. <laughs> Alley Oop McGee from Jokic. I walk in, the whole locker room, led by Will Barden, is excited that Vlatko had the on court interview after the game, the podium game. And both guys had career highs. So that, that's always fun to see when teammates are supporting one another. It was it was really it was really cool. Uh, I got uh, chills a little bit. Um, just you know, I'm uh, happy that you know the the guys always have my back. For us having all these injuries and guys out, you know, you have no choice but to be prepared and to be ready. And you know, there's still a lot of work to be done. We still have two more games on this uh, road stand before we go into the playoffs. So I know that's going to be our focus going forward. Is um, getting a win tomorrow in Detroit. Hey, that's a hell of a win. Fourth quarter defense, 14 points allowed, 25 from the field. All right, after giving up 37 in the third. So we're at 35 and nine when we got rebound our opponents. Let's keep that up. We got Detroit, we got Portland, getting ready for that first round of the playoffs. All right, bring it in, man. Hey, family on three, one, two, three. So happy to be here, excited. The first time you came to the arena, for training camp and you just look so amazed to be there how much has changed for you personally and for your game since you've been here uh, i think it changed a lot it's made me a better player a better person as well uh, i came here with my eyes so open you know trying to look everything try to learn about everything <laughs> i just try to learn about my teammates about the, the team, about the the city too, so about this league and 
And I think right now I, I, I am feeling with more confidence than the beginning. Corner three, Capazzo, got it again! And the Argentinian Pete Bull is on fire. That's his fifth three-pointer of the game. What has been the biggest surprise for you uh, in the NBA? It's all been like a, a little bit weird because all these COVID things is so different. I think so different uh, than back in the days. But I think the NBA life, how we travel, how the, the hotel life too. All the, you know, it's all thinking about the players. And you, you only have to think about uh, play good and produce in every game. So. Uh, you have all the help in, outside the court, so it, for your family, for your uh, practice. So I think it's, that was more surprise for me. Kick out three, Compazzo. Yeah! Most rookies don't come in at 29 years old to the league. How has your previous experience helped you kind of navigate, like you said, a very tough season? Uh, yeah, it was. It's not usual a rookie with 29 years, 30 years right now. And I, I don't know, I, I just try to put my experience here and my, my game here. Obviously, it's way different than Europe, the, the way we play here. But it's, it was a big challenge for me. Why did you want to test yourself by coming to the NBA? I mean, you had a pretty good situation going on in Spain there. Yeah, uh, because always it, it was my dream playing the NBA. Uh, and also, I, don't, I didn't want to think when I I don't know, when I retired, uh, when I end my career, uh, and think, okay, I didn't try, at least. I know this league is the best league of the world, in, in the entire world, so I just wanted to, to try and, and compete and be in a, in a huge team like this one. Goodness, what a pass. I thought that was going to go for the roll guy down the middle. Incredible pass through the, through the defense. Between the legs, Morris scores! Oh, fabuloso! The other night after the game, Mike described your defenses. You, know, you have someone who's the heart of a lion. Uh, it's very funny. It's very funny because I used to watch that kind of player in, in TV or in, even in video games. But it's crazy now. I'm, I always talk with my brother. Uh, in the phone and say it's crazy because years ago we didn't think about guard Steph or maybe Lillard or that kind of star. So I, I, it's a big challenge for me because I like to compete. I like to, to compete against my, my rival, you know. So uh, I just try to, to put 100% always my, my energy, my heart in every game, in every play. Do, do you talk to those guys on the court at all? Do they get bothered by you? or Because you, you uh, play a very dogged style yeah, of defense. Yeah, sometimes, obviously, they, I think they don't like to somebody bother them. But sometimes they talk in a good way because I always try to talk first. Like, it's a big pleasure to play against you. Uh, I never imagined uh, play against this kind of player. So it's, I just try to, to enjoy and respect also this kind of player. If you could go back and talk to 10-year-old Faku, what would you tell him about chasing dreams? Just, I, I just, I would tell him like, keep enjoying, enjoy this sport, basketball, uh, play with your smile, and give everything in, in every game, 100%. Keep, keep doing that, I think I, I would say that. Just enjoy. <laughs> And then there were two, just two games left in the regular season tonight. It's the Nuggets and the Pistons live from the Motor City. The Nuggets are starting tonight. Marcus Howard, Austin Rivers, MPJ, Vlatko Chanchar, and Nikola Jokic. So is, 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 is Jokic playing just so he can play every game? Is that what we all believe here? Maybe, although Joker just likes to play basketball, right? Yeah, I Isn't know. He's, he just... a, he's a rare superstar that actually enjoys the game. Yeah.
Now Howard fires a three, looks good, is good. Obviously, that's three games in a row that Marcus has gone out and created a new career high. And tonight he did it in his first NBA start. Uh, couldn't be happier. The, the kid is such a quality young man. Uh, one of the more respectful players I've ever been around. I just congratulated him. He said, Coach, thank you for the opportunity. Howard's going to try it again, and he scores again. Um, he a guy, never complain, always on in time, bringing stuff to the plane, being a great teammate, personality straight to it, watching film and working his tail off, you know, and when you do the right thing, you know, it pays off. So when you do stuff behind the scenes, and I'm happy for him. You know, all this stuff he's doing out there is no surprise to us or me. You know, he, we do shooting competitions. You know, he, he'll make 30 in a row. So, I mean, we know he, he can really he can really fill it up. A new scoring sensation for the Denver Nuggets. I'm just really happy in these last three games that he's shown he can be a weapon. And now, obviously, come playoff time, you know, if we're struggling to make shots, whatever, we know what we have a player, Marcus Howard, that can go out there and teams have to guard him. You know, and, you know, that kind of a threat is always welcomed. Well, the Nuggets get another triple-double from Nikola Jokic, 20-15-11. Marcus Howard, a career-high 20 points for him. The Nuggets have one game left on the regular season slate. Uh, great win. Uh, Nick just gave me the stat. So we have 22 road wins this year, which is the most in Denver Nuggets history. Uh, we have one left, obviously, but all season long and a really tough season. To be 22 and 13 on the road uh, speaks volumes to your guys' toughness, both mentally and physically. So I feel really good about that. Great job, man. Bring it in. Everybody's healthy. One to go. Let's finish up strong. One, two, three. Tonight, it's the final game of the regular season as the Nuggets travel to Portland to face the Trailblazers. If you want to, the people believe that, you have to punch the face, you know, the camera. Do it. Okay, go. Well, tell you right. <laughs> so let me ask Dempsey and, and you this, Berto. And I can't believe I'm actually saying these words. Could your best win of the year be a loss? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that didn't take long. You know, we always say going into the playoffs that matchups matter. And guess what the matchup, the one matchup nobody wants in the first it's round. The it's the Lakers. the Lakers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damian Lillard orchestrating here. Lillard casts off and hits the three. Inbound to Marcus Howard, and there's the horn. The Denver Nuggets close out the regular season. They lose tonight to the Portland Trailblazers, 132 to 116. But folks, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Right. You are very likely to face the Blazers. The Lakers are about to win their game, and you'll face Portland. Do you have any advanced thoughts on that matchup? Um, yeah, I mean, they're a really good team. Um, we know them uh, extremely well. Uh, they know us. It's like whoever we face, you know, we're ready for them. We'll be ready for them. Um, it's just so happened to be them. They just so happened to put us out a few years ago, you know, in an epic round. But, you know, this year is different, you know, different lineup, you know, different different things on the line. You know, I think we got a different mindset going into this this postseason, and I think we're ready for it. It's a long series, you know, it's a four, four, four best of best of sevens, so it's going to be a, a long fight. Uh, it's really important how we use this week to prepare both mentally and physically because when game one comes around, uh, we're going to have to have great effort, great energy, and we're going to have to be able to play for 48 minutes because that's what it's going to take to win a playoff game and a playoff series.